Yeah, all your friends are fucking dying right now. Wake up. What are you doing? Oh, oh Alice! Alice! Yuji, <laughs> everyone is here. Are we gonna see Asna? Sinon? Argus presents in 22, 2022. Mankind has finally built a full virtual environment. Oh shit, look at this. SAO, bro. Einkrad. Oh, this is where we got death gunned. Didn't we see this? When we were walking with Asna? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm a schizo. Is this where we got death gunned? Maybe it's just a different block. Don't go in the alley. What's in the back alley? The black cats? They're really bringing everyone back. They are really bringing everyone back from SAO. Holy shit, they're Sachi with their goddamn 9,000 fucking ping. Oh my god. Oh my god, Sachi. Sachi made it in season. That's crazy. That is something I would have never guessed. Holy shit. Now, where's Kibao, bro? The fucking porcupine head. Like, where the fuck is he? I want him to show up and get murdered, dude. Death Gun soundtrack. Memories. That's right. He can influence everyone here. And then they start attacking themselves, right? In fighting. <laughs> Basako just loves this shit. He just wants people to die, man. He will. He actually will, bro. Oh my god, bro. It's gonna happen. You're gonna regret it. He's not wrong. Okay, at least pick Asuna. You're gonna pick a random fucking foot soldier, bro? You think I give a fuck about random foot soldier 372? I, I know Asuna definitely doesn't care about the fucking NPC. She wants to sacrifice them and, you know, abridged. Oh, oh, no! Hey, one pictures I saw you there. Don't you act like her fucking kneecap is the focus here. You're just showing their cleavage right now. Hmm? Voice? Zaken! Super 8! Mother's Rosario! 11 hit combo! Oh shit. I'm not gonna save the NPC? <laughs> Your mother's Rosario is at! Wait, what? Wait, the ground lifted up at the same time. That was lucky. Hold the fuck up. Oh, that was terraforming. That was terraforming. That's why she had the little lag there. Her head hurt for a second. That was tiny terraform. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Because usually what happens is... And then northern lights. And then the fucking ground starts transforming. There's the edit. Kill Japanese people. That's it. Floor 5. Is that the uh, yoga pants arc? I don't know. He's just too cool. <laughs> He loves him. Vasako loves Kirito. Okay. Because why? Vasako loves killing Japanese people. He loves PKing. Vasako wanted to introduce Kirito to PKing as well. And that's why he leaked the whole uh, assault team of the whereabouts of Laughing Coffin. Really? Oh, he respects him so much. Like his tsundere best friend. <laughs> Hope and joy. He should just join our side. That's why it's unforgivable that he ended up like this when I wasn't around. You, But you caused this shit. 
You and Mr. Miller breaking in and fucking fl frying the fucking flood light. Like, that's why he's in the state. What a nice guy. Vasako is here to make sure Kirito wakes up for us. This guy, man, what a stand up person. <laughs> Like, what's stronger here? Right? Again, at the end of the day, this is all just a battle of fucking mental image about who believes in one or the other. What's stronger? Asuna's love for Kirito this way? Or Vasago's love for Kirito? I feel like Vasago's love is a bit stronger right now, man. <laughs> Mm. Sacred resources. Mate chopper, cleaver name. Oh, what? It kept leveling up? What the fuck? What? So, like, the sacred resource thing was something specific to Alice, how she spirit bombed that shit, right? But this dude's weapon literally does the same thing. Not only does it level up every time it killed before an SAO, right now the secret it just sucks it up. Poo's cleaver is insane. It just made Vasago even stronger. Based? Based? <laughs> Look at that! His love for Kirito is so strong, he's willing to kill everyone, bro. Do you think Asna could? I don't think so. I think at the end of the day, all that matters is the love for Kirito one way or the other. Even though it's an evil way. <laughs> I feel like this is stronger bond. He believes in him, man! Let's go, Vasago! <laughs> You need to witness that when I cuck you, I'm the reason why Kirito wakes up, not you, Asna. <laughs> Who's gonna save her, man? Oh no! Anybody? <laughs> More schizo, it's that can super aids backstory. That's right, mental image, baby. Zekin buff. Mother's Rosario his ass 11 piece combo Oh <laughs> What the fuck Wings Stacia account just awaken new powers new wings Okay Eagle lines Eagle voice lines Oh shit! Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever the art just gets bolded like this, this is just like Berkeley versus uh fucking what's it called? What's it called? Uh Mr. Miller, bro. They straight up just control all and then press control B, bro. All the lines get more bold. 11 piece combo incoming! Mother's Rosario is ass! <laughs> That whole sequence was sick. Yo, they just went next level. Again, the art looked like Berkeley versus Vecta. But you know what the saddest thing is? You know what the saddest thing is? They probably still put more budget, animation, effort into Sugu getting fucking graped. Yeah, Leafa grape scene with D.I.L. is still the most highest fucking budget animated scene in this season. What the fuck? Sick Mother's Rosario comeback though. Thank you, Zekin, once again. Yuki. Man, everyone's just coming back. But remember? Wait, 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 wait. We're, 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 we're forgetting someone. We're forgetting something. 
couple of episodes ago, remember? The SAO pod, the old servers, it was like blinking. What does that mean? Remember, Kaiba, like, he could still be in play. Like, I'm still waiting for when Kaiba literally shows up like he did in season one in the fucking courtroom. Just like, <laughs> Yokoso, watashi wa Akihiko Kaiba. It's like, oh, shit. Sachi, we kind of see Sachi in the schizo flashback, right? So is Vasago dead? What's going on with Vasago? No, 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 he's still good. Have you ever thought about taking his weapon away? Lena Senpai, you also haven't done shit yet. <laughs> Death Gun soundtrack, baby! That's a hole! Yeah. <laughs> Asna Penta donuted him. Okay, I didn't even realize. How are you standing? You got five holes in you! Everyone saw you have monologue and like as you were clashing against Asuna, everyone saw that part. And then you're going to still gaslight them to think that they're the evil ones? Really? Like, like after everything we've seen. And they're going to eat it up. They're going to believe it. What do you mean? It's less about the logic and more about this power here, right? This darkness engulfing, right? Possessing the negativity emotions. It's not about the logic. It's just being able to control them like this. <laughs> Surprise, he's not getting fucking trampled, bro. No one's stepping on him? No what? All right, Kirito's still fucking in his... Schizo delusional world. Black cats. Oh. <laughs> They're gonna replay the scene. They're gonna really replay the scene, bro. Open it. Do it. <laughs> oh, it's time to go back. Memory lane. Is this new A1 Pictures animation? It is, right? I don't think this is like an old animation. So we're going to see Sachi die with the newest A1 Pictures animation. Amazing. That was one of the most gruesome deaths. This guy got fucked up so hard. I remember seeing this for the first time. I'm like, oh my god. This one looks a little bit old reused animation, right? I think there's a mix of old and new animation here. This is all old one, I think. Where's Sachi? Sachi's ping. Yeah, this is new animation. I'm not sure about this part. This is old. This is old. I, I recognize this for sure. This is specifically from season one, right? Yeah. Hi, ping, man. Sachi, that's on you for playing SAO on a fucking internet Wi-Fi connection without fucking, you know, your port plugged in. Should have had that ethernet cable, girl. Beta, oh my god. Beta. Yeah, jump off the fucking Brits. See if I care, bro. Fuck you. I'm gonna take your house too after that. He never said that though, right? Did he say that? I can't remember. I thought that he was so shocked by it and just jumped off the Brits sil in silence. Did he actually say a beater like you? Did he say this part? Or is this like Kirito thought? I can't remember. It was such a long time ago. He did say that? <laughs> Diavel. <laughs> Diavel, bro. <laughs> Fucking Diavel, bro. Please take the potion! Diavel, it's right in front of you! Kito, please save everyone that you've barely met for 10 minutes. Goodbye. Diabel apparently again in the light novel or some shit, like, he already took lethal damage, that's why the potion seems stupid to us in the anime, but in the source material, it makes sense. <laughs> Could I deal? Assault team shit, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> no ka furueru. Bro, this motherfucker... <laughs> <laughs> Some imagine Subaru's voice actor had a character in the issue and confronted him saying, Why are you acting crazy, bro? Halo! <laughs> Giga! <laughs> he deserved that shit, bro. And we increased the pain tolerance level too. Oh. 
Great moments, man. I'm surprised Day One Pictures didn't just replay the scene of, you know, uh, Oberon groping Asna. That for sure, I thought they would do that. Shish kebab him. Yep. Deserved, bro. Those are good memories. This is not a bad memory. This is like a good memory, man. This is so happy. Asachi shit, that was sad. This is like, nice. GG o time. Let's go, Sama. Golden Aikito, baby. Kirito, these are happy memories. These are these are happy times. I I I know that like the whole point of this is for him to be like psychologically traumatized from like the past events, but like the Oberon shit and the Zaza shit, these are like triumphant moments. Oh fuck me. <laughs> fuck me cutting that goddamn tree at season three. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Can we see Quinella please? Show me some Quinella. Season three finale, man. Pour one out for a bro, Yu-Gi-Oh. No <laughs> Oh, I know how to counter this. This is so easy. I've, I've, I've heard this so many times. Whenever people say I'm the one who should have died because they feel so guilty due to all the shit that's happened in the past, this is what you say. You should live on for them. It's that simple. No, you are the survivor. So you should honor their death and move forward. If you don't, you're tarnishing their death. It's that simple. Every fucking show has this sort of fucking logic. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Kitty told fan service out of fucking no, no way. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Bro's donating himself. Asna. Asna. Who else? Shinon! Order of importance? <laughs> I want you to realize that it was Asuna, then Shinon, and then Sugu, okay? That's what I want, I want you to recognize. Her own little sister's not even number two. It's Asuna, and then Shinon, no one. And then Sugu. I'm surprised that Thilika didn't show up here first, bro. Oh, these are the three, though. That's been, you know, STL potted in. And we're getting their backup image. Ooh, stop it, dude. That's so gross. Oh. That transition, bro. That transition of the heart being pulled out to Higa smashing the wall. Oh my god. Like, this whole point. Yeah, didn't Higa say some shit about how, like, Kirito feels guilty or some shit, right? That it's eating him up. I think this is supposed to, like, represent something like that, right? From past life. I remember vaguely something about that when we were talking about how, like, his own self-image, like, the ego, blah, 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 right? So, we're dealing with that. So, how do we bring him up? Ooh. <laughs> One more person. Yu-Gi-Oh! But like one more person as in someone that has like STL shit, but no, there's no other STL plot. I feel like it's gotta be Yu-Gi-Oh, right? It's gotta be Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean Vasago has a very strong mental image of Kirito. He loves him and he has an STL plot. And again, I think it'd be so funny if Vasago is the reason that Kirito awakens. That would be the funniest shit. But like, Kirito, like, I feel like thematically, even if it might not make sense, like Yu-Gi-Oh should. Man, if Kayaba happened, that'd be crazy. Bro, <laughs> if Kayaba showed up out of fucking nowhere and said, Arise, my child, Zasido. And then Kirito awakens. What? Right? There's another connection! Unit ID WLSS703 does this relate to the SAO pod before? What is this? Inside Underworld. Kirito. Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Man, could you imagine if it was Kaiba though? <laughs> if, it, if it was Kaiba. We're still waiting on the Kaiba to show up later on, but okay, this right now is Yu-Gi-Oh. Kirito. Kirito better than all three girls. Kirito. Sorry. Yu-Gi-Oh better than all three girls. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right. Just like the Quinella that existed in Berkeley's memory. もう忘れてしまったのかい? Base spirit. 
I don't have a heart anymore. <laughs> Where is this right now? Alright. What about you, Sugu? There, Sugu. You have to walk, bro. Everyone is literally waiting for you. The entire fate of the world is in your hands. Damn. Yuji are really snuck in, man. I thought it would be the girls to wake him up and maybe Vasago, but like, nah. It was Yuji. Yuji, even in his death, more impactful than all three girls together. Whoa, the animation! Oh, yeah. Now we're almost reaching the levels of. Leafa getting graped animation. Look at the particles. That looks exactly like it, bro. Holy shit. Look at the details, man. All right, Kirito. All right. Oh, no. Random American. Kirito. Rose. Rose. Blue Rose Sword? Is the Blue Rose activated? I see ice. I see ice smoke. Blue rose. Blue rose. Oh, hands on! System quarter. Momento. That was combined. That was combined. That was with Yu-Gi-Oh! Together. The enhanced armor and the blue captions at my head cannon. That's Yu-Gi-Oh! Together, bro. AoE freeze. I don't think Vasako is done like this. I refuse to believe it. Damn, the selection of the frozen enemies is so good and none of us. He's still on the ground. Come on, get up, bro. He's so close. It's showtime, Kirito. Come on. Lena Senpai. The only thing I've seen her do this fucking season, bro. The <laughs> only thing I've seen Lena Senpai do. <laughs> I mean, do you expect her to compete on the level of Vasa that's, you know, fucking accumulated all the fucking sacred resources right now? <laughs> One shot like that. <laughs> oh! Oh, dude! That's a Ryo's jump! That's the fucking Ryo's jump for season 3, episode 10, dude! <laughs> A1 Pictures' favorite creepy guy jump, bro. <laughs> Barrier! Invisible hands! Kito? Almost! Almost! What was that, though? He he's up, he's up, he's up! What the fuck was that hand? Was that Kirito's imaginary hand? He's walking! He's walking! What the fuck? <laughs> Acromodak. Well, I think this is like basically the golden Kirito bullshit right now, right? Like, it's gold particles, don't question it. it, it he, he woke up in the fucking... The temporary placeholder hand that's acting as a barrier, all just strong mental image bullshit, bro. Damn! <laughs> The hero is up! I'm back. What's he, what's he gonna say? I'm back? I'm home. Tadaima. Tadaima. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's fucking happening. It's fucking happening. For 18 episodes, Kirito was just crippled, bro. Just not even there. And finally, he's back. And you know what the craziest shit is? Because Kirito was benched throughout this whole season, I think that's partly why the show is so good. Even in season three as well, he was obviously existent. But I don't think his power was so overwhelming. Really gave a lot of different characters the opportunities to shine. And I think that's really how, why like season four is doing so well. Kirito not being completely overpowered. Of course, he's going to show up at the very end and save everyone. It's kind of like the... Um, Eminence in Shadow or like One Punch Man formula to create hype. 
leave the main character that's gonna solve everything out of it until the very fucking end. Have the side supporting characters shine and create this immersion of threat and despair. Have the hero show up at the fucking end and then clutch. Amazing. Kirito goes through a bunch of different scenarios throughout his past, right? I think he had a bunch of guilt and suffering inside, right? We always knew that from the past, but the imagery of him ripping out his heart, donating himself, so messed up. But hey, we got the three girls and a fourth connection. Out of nowhere, Yujiro comes in and he is the reason <laughs> that Kirito stood. Yes, the other girls were more important, but without Yujiro, this is not possible. So thanks to Yujiro, which was existing in Kirito's memory, he's back. He's doing fucking golden god mode bullshit already. And his other armor's back. We just need the night blade, like the night sky blade as well. And then we can almost dual wield. We have the blue rose sword. And remember... This is not over yet. This is not over yet. We still have that connection from the old SAO pod. Kayaba has a very good chance of returning. If he does, I'm going to fucking lose it. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.